I know that one is a pretty baffled from another deck review. This is the drawing scratch playing cards, hence just scratches. <laughs> and, and it says drawing scratch playing cards on there in black. And you see a green and a blue, a red and an orange, and that's actually the colors of the suits. The black kind of indicates to me that there might be a white version in the future. This is from Zero Magic, it's the third deck they've done. The original one they did was the children's cards, which was designed by children in Asia somewhere uh, to bring awareness to them. And then of course they had this, which I just reviewed, puzzle playing cards. And then there's this one, which has a bit of a chalk theme to it. So that's the front. On the sides, you get all four pips in all four colors. Same with the other side, of course. Top, it says poker, drawing scratch, black. Further indication of a potential different color. The bottom says Made in USA. Focus. I apologize. There you go. Jail Magic Company, designed by Diana EJ. And there's a barcode made by USBC. Here you see the back design. Pretty colorful. It's just pips of a variety of colors, two colors per pip. And it's a standard USBC seal. On the flap, you do get a reveal like the last one, which is a free of diamonds. And we get onto the cards. First of all, you get a gaff card. Two of clubs on one side. You see clubs have green. And, you know, the pips actually, they look like they were drawn with by somebody, a kid, whatever, using chalk. And it's pretty interesting. The other side is a king of hearts. So it's a gaff card, two of clubs, king of hearts. You also get a double backer, of course. Very colorful. It's a mirror image back. Um, a little bit thick on the borders, which aren't even necessary in this. It could have been, I mean, it's essentially borderless anyways. But it's fine. Then we get to the Jokers. This one has a bit of a diamond thing going with it. You see all four pips uh, in all four colors, and then also all four colors on each side, and Joker in the two corners. And they even continue the colors right into the corners. The other Joker, similar, except it's just Joker, top and bottom, and it's more of a square. And I like these because they can be used as wild cards. They remind me of the wild cards from Uno. Uh, the Ace of Spades, Spades is in a blue color. It says drawing scratch point card with a nice pip. And then you get to the court cards. This is what the Spades look like. Reminds me of the Vanda decks, by the way, especially that one, because that's like the Vanda back design right there. Here's what the hearts look like, which you kind of saw already. Uh, the clubs, and then the diamonds, which are actually pretty nice. And I like the four colors as well. And all it is is four pips, making a flower type element. Number cards, fairly standard, just each suit has its own color. And that's that. And get on with it. Yeah. Alright, the back design. It's better than the puzzle deck, that's for sure. It helps to have an actual designer, I guess. Um, it's pretty colorful, fun. Although it's not, you know, elegant or anything like that, like a Jack's Robinson deck, but it's not bad. I'm going to say 4 out of 5 for the back design. The faces, I like. I mean, yeah, the court cards are a bit repetitive, but unlike the puzzle deck I just reviewed, it's not all the kings are the same, all the queens are the same. It's just all, you know, clubs are the same, hearts are the same, diamonds are the same. You know, it, it changes by suit. Which is almost the same as just having each court card being the same. But it's a little bit better. And they're a little nicer, friendlier looking, easier to use. Um, so I like it. I'm going to say four, four and a quarter out of five for the faces. I like the faces. I like decks that have a different color per suit. And these colors really pop. They're really bright and vibrant. Which is nice. Well, maybe not that bright, but they're pretty vibrant anyways. They pop. The orange ones are pretty bright. 
Uh, handling wise, it's bicycle stock, air quotes, and fitness. It's not bad, so I'll say four out of five. Overall, you know, probably four and a quarter out of five for this one. Four out of five. It's not bad. I like it. You can get these at collectiblepointcards.com. Use the code VJZA32 to get 10% off your order. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me tell you what you think of these videos and these reviews. That's all I got. See you next time. Thanks for watching, as always. And also, I want to thank Mike at Collectible Point Guards for continuing to support my channel and to sponsor me. I appreciate it greatly. See you next time.